do you guys feel that fundamentalism is as bad as a more moderated or reformed uh, form of religion? I mean, is that the true evil, or do you guys feel like they are, you know, equally bad, equally destructive to society? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, fundamental, fundamentalism and literalism. Right. Kind of a deal. It's complicated because I know, you know, mm -hmm. playing devil's advocate, so I'm just spoiling, no, I don't think that uh, moderate religious people are as harmful and destructive as fundamentalists. Uh, okay. But talking to atheists who do think that, the argument that they would make is that uh, the the moderates normalize religion. And so the, the basic problem overall is uh, believing things that aren't true, being gullible and, and having a willingness to accept nonsense into your, thought, uh, into your thoughts. And so okay. the idea being that the moderates give cover to the fundamentalists and make the fundamentalism possible or, or make it possible for them to take hold. That said, <laughs> the fact that fundamentalism takes hold anywhere is the serious problem. Um, and uh, I, I feel like the, the momentum and direction of people's beliefs may be more important uh, than, uh, than the actual particular belief that they happen to be at because Human interaction is very, very complicated, and I would like to have everybody believe true things and not believe false things, but that's never going to happen because everybody is working on incomplete information. Fundamentalism is harmful because it uh, actively, uh, like fundamentalists actively seek to uh, legally enforce their stupid beliefs on other people. Uh, and they, in some cases, like persecute uh, people who believe differently or, or have a different sexual orientation or they subjugate women. And the fact that people actually lose their rights or don't have as much freedom as they would otherwise is the real harm of fundamentalism. Yeah. Now, if a fundamentalist mm, abandoned fundamentalism and moved off to this sort of vague, liberal, uh, uh, not very serious belief in some force in the universe. Are they still believing irrational stuff? Sure. But am I going to tell them that move you made, now you're even worse, or it didn't make any difference, you're just as bad as you were before. I don't see it that way. I think that uh, it is a reduction of the amount of irrational stuff they believe or the, the uh, how seriously they take it. And I think less of that is always a good thing. John, what do you think? Yeah, I think what Russell alluded to is the harm is not the fundament fundamentalism itself. It's, the, it's, it's what actions it informs. So if somebody's a really fundamentalist, Bible literist, literalist, thinks that it's inerrant and uh, homosexuals should be put to death. And if they think that, that's one thing. Uh, if they go out into society and try to impose that on everybody, that's, that's the higher level of danger. So it's, it's more than just being a fundamentalist. It's what are, you, what are you gonna do with that that's causing the harm? And in that respect, moderates don't, don't go out and seek to uh, cause as much harm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I guess that was another way to say that is that um, if, if like a more moderate, I don't know, maybe you called it wishy-washy, I don't remember, but <laughs> I might have said that. kind of, maybe, but uh, is, is basically just within the spectrum. I know that, like you said, some of your harder atheist friends would disagree and maybe say that like it's still bad, and I, I'm not, I'm mostly just staying away from that, but, um, or not having an opinion on that part, but just whether it's within the spectrum of like a, not necessarily a perfect society, but just an okay society, that one that does kind of generally promote the general welfare, basically. Yeah, and I think that in a lot of cases, uh, given the various people I know who are and aren't religious, uh, I, <laughs> I like people who have some amount of religious belief that they will accept being criticized or ribbed about 
but still basically treat other people well and and are kind of live and let live and care about doing stuff like helping people in Puerto Rico. Uh, like I like those people more than uh, if I knew a very hardcore atheist who I totally agreed with about God but is kind of a jerk <laughs> to, yeah. to okay. like everybody, to me and other people. Sure. And a lot of times people okay. people need a transition. So uh, a lot of times they'll they'll be say, uh, and I hear this story a lot. There's somebody who's really fundamentally religious, and then they go through a, a change process, and they might uh, try a more moderate religion or set of beliefs on for a while. And you know, they it's really unusual for a fundamentalist to immediately jump to to not believing. Uh, so that moder moderate moderate those moderate religions give them sort of an opportunity to transition. So they, they your you know, beliefs tend to change slowly. So uh, people, individuals, and society as a whole can kind of transition to a more secular position by going through those moderate <laughs> steps. And so on, from that aspect, I, I kind of applaud somebody who's willing to at least moderate their views first and, and while they then think about where they are now and then maybe transition to something a little more secular uh, later. Okay. Yeah, well, I've, I've heard of a lot of people who have uh, gradually abandoned religion, and it almost always is a gradual process where they, where they think, well, I don't really believe in that hell stuff because that's kind of monstrous and I can't believe in a God who would do that sort of thing. But then once they've abandoned that, they keep going and are like, well, I'm, you know, I always heard that hell was real. If I reject that, why do I still believe in the other stuff? Yeah. And I'm not going to attack somebody for going through that transition if they're not going through it as fast as I think they should. It, it's hard to let go of everything at once. I, I okay. say I'm not going to attack them, but I'm still going to jump on their their beliefs that I don't agree with. When somebody calls in and says, hey, I don't agree with that fundamentalist who calls, but let me tell you what I do think, I mean, I'm still all over them. <laughs> sure. I mean, that's, you know, just criticizing an opinion or an idea. Right. I get that. <clears throat> um, and that kind of brought up an interesting question, and this is just kind of in your opinion from what you've seen. Um, do you think that there it's easier to kind of like, or have there been more people who have changed from a fundamentalist, literalist version to non-belief? Or is that kind of easier than someone who has more of a moderate uh, position and then changing them to non-belief? Just in your opinion, have you seen more go from a harder stance to non-belief or a moderate position to non-belief? Uh, I don't know. I mean... My, my, my sense okay. is mo that moderates, it's probably more common with somebody who starts off with a moderate belief because they're already kind of open to question. Whereas, yeah. whereas somebody who's really fundamentalist uh, tend to be more closed-minded. But then also there's a backlash, like the, the <laughs> Phelps family. You oh, know, half, yeah. of, half of their kids completely abandoned that, and that was like one of the most fundamentalist versions of Christianity that there could be. So Yeah, if you ever get around to it, read a New York Times article about someone named uh, Megan Phelps, I believe, right? Uh -huh. Because she had a wonderful story about being this hardcore fundamentalist and being weaned off of it by some friends who who talked her through it, even while she was telling them that God hated them and, and she hoped they go uh, they burn forever. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll uh, look that up. And I have known, personally, it's rare, but I've known uh, people who went all the way from fundamentalist to atheist, uh, like Jerry DeWitt uh, mm -hmm. and like uh, Rich Lyons. And let me tell you, a deconverted fundamentalist gets pretty hardcore about atheism. They, <laughs> they swing that enthusiasm all the way over in the other direction. But the yeah, ones I've met ha have. Yeah. Okay. And then I have one more question for you guys, and uh, maybe I just don't understand this enough, or my question is a little nonsensical, but <clears throat> is there a different level of certainty when talking about proving something scientifically versus proving something logically? Or does that question not make any sense? Uh it makes sense because, I mean, often when you're proving something logically, you're dealing with pure math. Uh, but, but the problem with that, 
and I mean things that you conclude logically are more sound conclusions as long as you're starting with the right assumptions. But the problem with yeah. not thinking about things scientifically is that you can construct this elaborate model in your head, which is consistent, but it's got no relationship to anything you've observed. And okay. I think a lot of theist uh, apologetic arguments go that way and just construct this very self-contained logical argument, but they're starting from bad assumptions, and so none of it makes sense. All right, and my question was more in regard to people who are trying to either disprove God, if, they, if there's some different level of certainty in your guys' opinion between saying, oh, I'm going to disprove God uh, scientifically, which I don't think is possible, versus saying, I'm going to try and disprove God logically. And that may also not be possible, but I mean, I, just... Yeah, I don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're, all, basically all I have, we're almost but, um, out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. That story about that girl at that school, that's terrible, and that never should have happened. So, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah sorry about that girl, but... Yeah, thanks. I mean, that's all I got. I just wanted to hear your guys' opinion on a few things. Okay. Thanks Great. for calling. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.